Hello everyone, this is Ninja. Uh, today we're going to be playing FTB Skies. It's a pretty fun pack. It's uh, kind of a skyblock type mod mod pack that um, I've played about 70% of the way through of it. And uh, I really like this pack compared to, uh, let's say, Stone Block. Not that I didn't like Stone Block, but um, the rewards are not random with this one, so... I think that's that's what the major difference is going to be. So I will be editing parts out um, the boring stuff. I'm going to not record some of it. Yeah, last series on stone block I did, I left everything in and uh, that may not be the best thing for YouTube, <laughs> but it's better for uh, maybe if I was live streaming on YouTube and then I would edit the boring stuff out or the derping around so that's this is going to be a lot shorter series i would say um a little easier to watch maybe because if i am trying something out you know it's kind of a waste of time sometimes i mean it's fun for me but it may not be fun to watch so that stuff i will just figure out and then record once i've figured it out so let's get started Okay, so I just created a fresh world, and uh, this is the this is the starting area, which is a giant ship. Um, I'll give you guys a better look at it from uh, a creative world, since uh, uh, there might be a way to get into spectator mode right now, but I'm not sure exactly. But in any case, um, I will go ahead and jump through the portal and select which uh which map i want to start out with um i i like the minimal sky island just because you're not really given any um extra stuff because if you start out on any of these worlds you're gonna be um it's a little more of a jump start i guess i would say except for maybe compact sky um you just start out with a compact block uh so this one may even be tougher but I don't know. I, I like being outside a little more. So let's start out with the minimalist. Quest completed. So I am not going to ignore any quests when I play this. So let's let's go ahead and get started with that. So it's so just the welcome message kind of thing. Let's get the get the rewards. Ability bottle. These abilities are pretty cool. Gives you uh, permanent um, abilities that say uh, a beacon would give you. So getting started, let's go ahead and just uh, grab our Akashic Tome, which gives you access to basically all the manuals of all the mods. I'll complete some of these that are just, uh, all you got to do is click the check mark. Uh, this talks about the events that happen. So there's just um, like random things that um, like mob spawning, that kind of thing that are going to happen throughout. You can uh, disable it, but um, of course I'm going to leave it on because it's kind of part of the pack. Ah, this, this comes with a shader called uh, complimentary reimagined which I already have enabled um, I would have added this anyway actually this is my favorite uh, shader mod so it's it's pretty nice that they uh, include it this gives us a die bee spawn egg haven't really messed with the bees yet in this pack and uh, yeah this this is one where I actually have to look at a look at a loot bee Okay, so let's go ahead and take down our tree. All right. So um, the way to get your first resources, besides the ones you kind of start out with, is to uh, sneak right-click a block of dirt, um, and it'll it'll give you the stuff to make. Uh, cobblestone and dirt. 
and I'll just clear my bar so I can start doing that. And I'm going to, it's a little uncontained because you can, you can kind of see some of it like falls off the side and stuff right there. Um, I'm going to fix that. So go ahead and at least block that for now and maybe this side. <laughs> you can still hear him going in the water though. <laughs> Okay, I, I can hit K from here to quickly, um, I guess, compress the the stuff and it just makes a four by four of whatever when you press, press K. So, um, yeah, let me go and place these right away so I can get my grass spreading and I, I do wanna expand this as quick as possible. Okay, so I'm actually gonna move out this way a little more. This is kind of annoying. Um, all right, but since I have the wood from the tree, let me make the uh, crafting table stuff. So I'll start out with a uh, crafting stick. And let's see, let's make a a Paxel? Maybe I have enough for that? Uh, I probably should have. Uh, oh, but I need more sticks. That's right. There we go. And got a stone Paxel. I love the Paxels. Okay, so now we shouldn't have that water problem. Okay, I'm gonna continue and uh, I'll probably stop recording for a bit. All right, so I've got a few stacks of rocks. Let's make those into cobblestone, the dirt. Um, I like to do this as much as possible um, all at one time so I can limit the number of times I'm gonna have to do this. Uh, is the, the one kind of tedious thing I would say about this pack, but uh, it's not too bad. Okay, and plant some trees. They do give us a little bit of bone meal. Um, help speed things up. I probably should just grow some trees. Okay, so let's take a look at the opening quests again. So we got cobblestone. That gives us a little more of it. it gives us a uh, pet rock and some more dirt. Uh, I think the next thing we should probably do is plant some flax. And we start out with some flax seeds. So uh, we need to make a hoe. And then plant these. Uh, that's pretty good for now. We're not going to need too much string. Ah, and we did get a uh, iron wand, which will help us expand this out a little quicker. Okay. I did kind of break my my grass though a bit um 
Uh, that, that's okay. As long as this one is still here, I can still spread the grass out. So not a big deal that I messed that up, but wish I wouldn't have. <laughs> okay, so off this direction, I think I'm going to do cobblestone. Okay, this will be a good area to start off with the first machines, which will be, oh, we uh, let's collect a couple qu quests first. So I got some bone meal, fertilizer, flowering lily. Okay, lily pad. Then uh, I used my construction wand. Or maybe it's because I placed it in my inventory. I'm, I'm not sure exactly what triggered that one. The triggering is, that's the only real bug I've found with this pack is uh, sometimes sometimes um, you're supposed to get an item to complete a quest and that item will not actually trigger right away. You got to like sleep or something, reload the world. Uh, but let's let's ho just hope I don't run into that too too often. Okay, I just did another session of uh, sneak clicking the dirt block, <laughs> digging up uh, soil and rocks. So let's go ahead and get those ready. All right, so let's take a look at the first thing we want to make here. So uh, we do want to get some more trees uh, so I can actually, you know, get rewarded for making this block. Um, see the flax yeah I, I gotta get the string to complete this one so just gotta wait for those to grow it's either that or i could just bone meal one real quick uh let's go ahead and make a composter just to complete this one i don't think i'm actually going to use it uh but we do get these prizes so that'll help uh jump start us a bit because those prizes we will actually have use of so There we go, composter. Um, and you see, it, it didn't actually complete the quest for me just yet. It's a little weird. Oh, it's because it's it's grayed out. I have to get the trees first. So there's a checkbox on it, but I have to actually um, get enough logs to um, complete that quest. So I just need to grow some trees. Okay, so that was, that's it for those two quests. Let's go ahead and see what the rewards are for it. Golden apple and oak leaves. Uh, I guess what this would be good for the composter, maybe to get some more bone meal. Oh, it says I can sift it, maybe? Let, let me read that again. Leaves you can run through the sifter to give a higher chance of uh, block obtaining saplings. Okay. Yeah, great source of uh, compost for apples. All right. Mushroom barrel, and hopper, a couple hoppers, I think nice uh i'll actually have a use good use of hoppers coming up here so um let's go ahead and add this i just pressed a so that will um do nothing i guess <laughs> Let me, all right i gotta i gotta click a from here okay and i guess we'll do the same for the hand crank so let's go ahead and take a look what we're going to need. So a stone button uh, means I need to make a furnace to make some stone. Uh, we need some charcoal first. Mm 
while that's doing its thing, I will make another furnace. Okay. So I'm gonna prepare this stuff and when I'm ready to make the sifter, I'll be back. Okay, I think I have all the stuff for the the hand crank and the sifter, so let's go ahead and do that. Hand crank, do this gear. I'm missing, oh, one plank. Uh, let me turn my music off. Okay, so let's try this again. There we go. Uh, probably will need a chest for the stuff to dump out of. Make a, I'll make a few chests. Four. That will be good. So let's do the chest. Go ahead and put down this hopper. Oh yeah, we do need to uh, complete this quest, which I'm... Okay, so before I put this sifter down, I need to complete these two quests so I can get the rewards for it because this will give you a, a bunch of other sifters. <laughs> so it's definitely worth uh, turning this one in because it'll speed things up. So let's go ahead and make a hammer. And I know by heart to how to do these since I've made quite a few. Okay. So let's do the basic hammer stuff uh, so we can get these quests completed. And let me put some stuff in the chest here. I'll just go ahead and dump it. I'm not gonna be too crazy about inventory management at the beginning. It's actually easier just to dump your stuff out and then grab what you need because a lot of times what you need is a lot less than what you're dumping in. <laughs> so it saves some time, it seems. Okay, so let's use the hammer on this to get gravel and then Break this gravel, sand, and then break the sand to get dust. This is just for the quests. I'm not, I, I do need to get more of this stuff, but I think I get a free amount right here. So there we go. And now the sifter, this should complete. Maybe I gotta pick it back up, let's see. <laughs> it's the only thing I'm talking about. I am playing the beta version. Uh, I'll put up on the screen what, what version it is. I can't think of it right now, but. Okay, so I figured it out. It's whatever, you see how these conveyor belts are kind of all going a certain direction. So it's it's showing all the things I that are required for this. So it requires the string mesh first. So that's what I gotta do. So let's grab that bone meal, wherever I put it. Uh, I put this in the wrong chest. <laughs> okay. All right, so let's get some string and we'll complete this quest. Give us some more bone meal, flax seeds, and straw. Okay, now the string mesh. All right, very easy to make. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so, and then it completes the scepter quest too. Let's 
grab all the rewards from this. Okay, so now I can not only put one sifter down, but I could put four. Oh, that's weird. It, it completed it even though I had the stuff in another chest. So I guess it remembers when you've completed it or that you had it in your inventory at one point. So that's cool. Did not know that. All right, so let's make it so we can run all of these at once. Of course, it goes down the wrong way. <laughs> okay. And then we want to put this other hopper here. Um, that's good enough for now. I can just put stuff directly into the hopper. So first thing we're going to want to do is actually let's, let's expand this out a little further. I keep forgetting to uh, expand my grass back out. <laughs> I'll get to it eventually. Um, actually, let's just do that right now. We'll go ahead and just do it the destructive way. <laughs> I'll, I'll leave this here. It's fine. Let's get some gravel. Okay, and then we get we're gonna go sift this gravel. Uh, we could do it a little quicker. Maybe I will. Yeah, let, I got I got some of these extra hoppers I can use to start doing this. So, and no, actually no, because I want to not make a bunch of string meshes because we're gonna quickly move beyond this the string mesh phase here. So let's just do, let's just do the gravel. Okay, so all I'm getting so far from the gravel is iron nuggets. Um, we're gonna need these for uh, making some andesite though. Uh, so we can ex expand this contraption here out a little bit. So I grab some more rocks and soil. So hopefully that's the last time. I think that was maybe three or four times doing this. Three or four, something like that. Okay. So I needed this dirt. Uh, this is so I can get andesite by... Uh, sifting it and I'm gonna be dying pretty soon here so let me eat first and if you eat a bunch of variety of stuff it's actually going to give you more more hearts so let me try and eat a few different things was enough to get us new heart yet but uh, at least I'm not hungry anymore Okay, so after hand cranking that stuff, I have um, definitely enough to make some andesite and diorite, which I can actually get more andesite out of the and tough. So let's go ahead and make some uh, andesite alloy and yeah, I guess I'll just turn this diorite directly back into andesite. So there we go. Now let's turn in some quests. So I got iron, four iron nuggets to complete this quest. Gives us more andesite, alloy, and uh, some different food. More andesite. Let's see what else under progression. Okay, so I've got the sifter and the mesh. 
more flex and a force pack I'm not I haven't really used the force mod yet maybe I'll get into that a little bit I'm, I don't think I'm gonna get into every single mod um you know it just uh there's there's several different ways to do stuff um in this mod pack so yeah I might just use more technology mods than magic mods and stuff okay so now that we have andesite I can make an andesite mesh I will make uh let's see I'll make five I guess because I have five sifters so um I don't have any sticks on me though probably need more sticks Okay, there we go, five. Then let's go ahead and replace this and then put the other ones down. And then maybe we can automate this. Um, I may have enough, mm, may not have enough alloys actually. Uh, we'll see here. I can always get some more iron from just doing a little more hand cranking. Okay, so you get a shift and then right click to pick these up. I can go ahead and retire this. So I'm just gonna throw it off the edge here. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, let's go ahead and put our extra sifters down. I don't know why they went up there, but that's okay. <laughs> Okay, and I'm going to use these, although these are not the not the greatest of hoppers. Um, I would like to replace these right away, almost, because <laughs> stuff gets caught in these and you have to basically break them to unclog them. So I'd like to not use too many of those. Um, we do have some quests to turn in. Let's see. What else, what else did I do here? Andesite mesh. So it gives us a bucket and cooked pork chops good good uh, let me double check if there's anything else I can do okay so let's go ahead and get some sugar cane next just want to try and knock out a lot of these quests okay so I'm gonna make four more of these wooden hoppers for now um, should make some more chests also after this so that involves um, growing some more trees but uh you know I'll, I'll do that off camera of course okay so i've got this all set up um, i would like to fully automate this but we do have to hand crank this just one more time uh, but we should make this fast by let's see i'll split this into five five stacks So we should be able to do this pretty quick here. I, what I want to get out of this is iron, some iron ore. So I can make um, iron nuggets to make the uh, andesite alloy. So I can make water wheel and then we can just fully automate this. And we'll never have to hand crank again. Okay, so that was actually pretty fast. Stuff is still coming in, still trickling in, because these things take time to, um, you know, because it only can do one thing at a time. So it's got to like, yeah, basically do everything one at a time. <laughs> still trickling in here. Let's see. I'll just grab that. And we should have some coal too. So let's make this a little quicker.
Okay, and I'll make my wheel and then I'll be back when that's done. Whoa! Almost got me. <laughs> this thing just spawned out of nowhere. Where'd you go? Booyah. Oh. Good. Ooh, what did you drop? Cross necklace. Increases the length of invincibility after taking damage. Interesting. All right, let's put that on. It's kind of cool. Um, I think he did this because uh, I replanted these. Luckily, I was able to record before he hit me. <laughs> I don't want things to uh, happen and completely miss them. But okay, I'm going to keep... Here's what I've done since I stopped recording. Um, I built a structure for the water wheels. Still haven't done the water wheel, but let's see. I should have enough andesite alloy to make the stuff to do it. So 16 shafts. Um, okay, I could think I can do that right here. So let's make, uh, I guess, three, and then I think we'll be rewarded with three also. So go ahead and do that. And then we're going to need some small ones also probably we'll need actually a, a gearbox probably which means I also need some more LA um, yeah I'll go ahead and do that All right, I'm gonna call it for this episode. Uh, if you've watched this far, uh, I couldn't imagine someone not liking the video and watching the entire thing. <laughs> so please, please give me a like. It really helps me out with the uh, YouTube algorithm. So other people will see the video, uh, more people will view it, helps me succeed and, you know, encourage me to do more videos in the future and to improve the channel. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. So thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.